um, immunity leads to a longer lifespan. I wanted to see what these prophylactic supplements would have um, have an effect on the nematodes. So as we can see from my data, the only statistically significant day was on day 17 um, from airborne. But otherwise, I had no um, significant data. And even looking visibly at the trends, the control and the experimental groups did pretty much the same. So my next round of experiments were having to do with oxidative stress. So again, some studies show that vitamins decrease oxidative stress. I wanted to see what effect that the supplements had on the nematodes decreasing their cell damage and again leading to a longer lifespan. So looking at the data, I had a couple instances of statistically significant data um, as marked by the stars, but it was only in the first half of my trials. Otherwise, towards the end, I had no statistically significant data and even though there wasn't significant data, you can visibly see that all three of my experimental groups did better than the control up about until day 16, but all of their lifespans tended to die out the same. So with acute oxidative stress, I wanted to take this to the next level. Um, well, and with my temporary oxidative stress too, in order to induce oxidative stress, I gave them something called jugulone, which is a carcinogen that induces oxidative stress. So that's how I was able to come up with these results. So with acute oxidative stress, I gave them a lethal dose of jugo directly into the auger. So over a four hour time span, I measured their survival rates every 30 minutes. And here I had no statistically significant data, but visibly we can see that again, the experimental groups all did better than my control. The last thing I wanted to test was fertility. And since mothers are encouraged to take pre and post supplements for their babies, I wanted to see how fertility would um, be affected by taking the supplements. And in nematode terms, this means egg production and egg laying. So looking at my egg production graphs, there is no positive or negative difference between my experimental groups and my control. And again, looking at egg laying in terms of my four hour time span and per hour, there really wasn't a difference um, between taking the vitamins and not taking the vitamins. So in conclusion, my overall data did not produce any positive health benefits to see elegance taking a prophylactic supplement in comparison to my control group um, in terms of longevity, oxidative stress, and fertility. That being said, there was also no negative effects caused by the supplements. Uh, there should still be um, more studies conducted on an animal model that could possess with both innate and adaptive immunity because that would be more comparable to the human immune system. Interestingly enough, upon completion of my research, a couple other studies came out stating that taking too many vitamins is unnatural, and for instance, beta carotene and vitamin E in large doses are very harmful for you, and also that if you take too much antioxidants, that it can actually counteract your cell regulation and decrease your immune system as well. So there still needs to be a lot more studies tested on this, but what these papers have come up with that the best way to keep ourselves healthy is proper diet and exercise. So I would like to thank the Fletcher Jones Undergraduate Fellowship for giving me the opportunity to conduct my own research, um, the biology department, and Dr. Sylvia Vitron for mentoring me. Thank you. Stress, we figured that it was just going to be another waste of time to do it with bacterial resistance. At least in the nematode. 